Okay guys, time to summarize. Uh, as I started my review from the title that I'm skeptical, that's because of this. There's still nothing wrong with this one. Like you know, one plus one. That's why I was kind of I need to replace it, but you know what? It's Christmas. I got a nice present myself. It's a perfect phone. Okay, design and display. The design, anyone can see. It's nice, sleek, matte finish. Nice to hold in hand and grab it. Buttons, the volume rocker and the power button and the uh, uh, fingerprint scanner fell straight under, under my fingertips, so couldn't complain there. The display, some people were giving out a like, why uh, not 16 by 9 anymore, but by why is it longer? Why is it 2 to 1 now? I don't complain. You know what? If I can get a uh, bigger screen in the same size body, I take it. I take it for simple example. I have more space on the side of the screen for the controls while still having full viewfinder, either for video or photo. So bigger screen is better. Is more content on the screen. Why not? If it's in the same size body, take it. Uh, yeah. Uh, as for the density, why is it still HD? <laughs> Honestly. I am not noticing the pixels when I'm using it and I'm not going to use that phone with any VR set so it's fine for me mm, As for the camera it's a class in itself to be honest mm, it is not as good as some Mirrorless, for example, Sony A6000, or in some situations not as good as RX100, also from Sony, but in some conditions, and even at night, it was actually better. So, it's really good, I think, stabilization on the video mode is just crazy, which I will show in a second, uh, short clip that was filmed handheld. <laughs> when I was holding a phone in one hand and actually pushing the, my, my son's stroller in with the other one and then there is a bit of uh, the camera, the phone filming um, while I was driving and the phone had, had only its own stabilization and it was placed in ordinary, ordinary car holder so uh, how good it is it will tell you that after seeing that clip of my city and I posted that on Facebook as well my friend called me and he knew that I was thinking about buying DJI Osmo Mobile and he asked me Jesus that clip is great, it's so smooth how is the Osmo working for you? and I said you know what I didn't buy it yet. it's all handheld and he couldn't believe it and he's using Osmo, so that will tell you how good it is. One thing with the camera that I think people who consider buying this phone should be aware of um, is the quite of a crop when filming. I show you here the picture mode. video mode picture mode video mode the crop is significant and the reason for it is I'd imagine that the phone the camera of the phone actually sees more around the phone but films produces produces only what you see to give itself the space for stabilization and balance because it doesn't have optical stabilization but electronic 
that's the only way to do it and it happens on all the phones maybe slightly bigger crop on 5T but that explains itself because or why the stabilization while only being electronic is so good so it's not really a cone or pro it's a pro some way the stabilization is good and the crop is a trade-off for it I'm not complaining I actually didn't notice it until just yesterday when I was switching between the picture and camera so it's all good performance was the next thing on day 4 and I tested it with a rendering of some video clips I may show you just a short piece of it how fast it went comparing to uh, OnePlus One and the other thing is I can say because I'm rooted I'm using TWRP for backups of the phone and when I'm doing a backup on OnePlus One in TWRP of about 12 gigs it takes a few minutes on OnePlus 5T I couldn't believe it it was 150 seconds which is really just over 2 minutes it's crazy, that's how fast this phone is that's all I have to say. It's crazy fast. It's the fastest device I ever used. It was simply to check if OnePlus delivers to their slogans. 30 minutes, 60% of charge. I think I got more. Let me quickly scroll there. Yeah, I got 75% in 30 minutes. And as for battery performance of the phone, the same day in the morning, I, when I woke up, I had 83%, 83% in the morning. And after heavy, heavy use, the one what, what you get when you set up the phone from new to what you want with 70 odd apps installed and everything I ended the day with 20% when I got home and it was a long day so no complaints there it's perfect dash charge delivers oxygen wise what can I say, system like any other but I think slightly better that was the face unlock just one glimpse and it's unlocked so it works well lots of customization here uh, like you can customize the function of the buttons the, 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 on the navigation bar uh, for double tap, long tap, regular tap you can change them around uh, you can't Mm. I know on heavy, heavy customizable ROMs you can add more buttons, you can't on Oxygen OS, but really, like every button have, can have three functions. Do you need more? You don't really. Uh, you can adjust the function slightly of the slider on the side. People are asking for more, maybe it will come with the updates, we don't know. Gestures, status bar, the look of the percentage of the battery to be there or not. Uh, icon of the battery, uh, colors of the fonts, of the icons, oh, crazy stuff. You have a night mode which is working similar to um, CF Lumen from Chainfire which I was using pre previously basically uh, depending on the time of the day it changes the uh, warmth of the colors so in the evening they are warmer uh, 
basically telling your brain that and your eyes to rest a bit. Um, supposedly it's easier to fall asleep when you use that. And then you have a an read mode which I really like, which turns your phone into kind of reading mode, turns your phone to black and white. Looks a bit like a newspaper, which is cool, and looks kind of um, like an e-reader, Kindle or something. Lots of features. I had one issue. Uh, was it a con? It wasn't a pro. It wasn't a con really, it, because it was easily solvable. Uh, I didn't like the settings of the music, like I didn't like the amount of them. Mm. But I mean, because I was rooted, I rooted for that reason actually. I could install easily uh, this bit, Viper for Android FX, and that solved all my problems. Now I can customize my equalizer for any device, Bluetooth headphones, speaker of the phone itself. I'm happy out. So that was the only thing that that's why I considered and I did root the phone for this. I just wanted really customizable music. No other issues. It's light OS runs perfectly. Uh, <laughs> never froze, never rebooted. Which happens even on the more expensive flagships, you know. Conclusions now, conclusions, I don't know. Just buy the phone. For this price is amazing. It's just the perfect device. Are there any cons? At this price and even comparing to the phones for a thousand euro? I don't think so. Like I show you one thing, which I discovered just recently. I didn't know it had that option, that you can take a selfie with it. In the dark, in completely dark room, the screen lights up so bright. There was no light in the room at whatsoever. The screen goes so bright that that's what comes out. Selfie in a complete darkness, which is actually usable. So, just buy it, and buy two for family. Unboxing was a pleasure. Look at how well those boxes are designed. All the gadgets that I got for most of them for half the price on the sale. Perfect. Use this when you're filming. I know it's not as much protection as the silicon one, but it's really good grip. You know, that sandpaper is just sandstone, it's just working there. It won't fall out of your hand. What else can I say? Buy it. And you know what? To the jury that will be viewing this review. It's really honest. I'm sold. I was skeptical, but I'm not. I was skeptical that it won't deliver, I was skeptical that it won't be as good as I need for the night shots, whatever. Uh, just look through the clips I took, look through the pictures I took. A few of them will be between those, my comments here. And 
you know what, it delivered. It's not worth paying more because it's very little more delivered for a bigger price. Go ahead. Order. <laughs>